Christina here. I'm back with a new video. If you watched my last video, you remember that I was making a lot of these uh, small fish cards. Um, and I used the stamping technique to make them. And I made a whole bunch. And uh, I was really into it. And then I don't know what happened, but I remembered that a few years back I was making, I was creating a lot of hippos, hippopotamus. You know, we have hippopotamus here in, in uh, the Gambia. It's two thirds up Gambia River, so I've been a few times to see them. You usually just see, you know, like the ears and the eyes and the nose, or sometimes with the when they open their mouths really big, you know, but but you're a little bit on the distance. But anyway, it inspired me and I was making a lot of hippo paintings. Uh, I will actually show show a whole bunch of them, my old hippo paintings in the end of the video. Um, but I, I decided, oh, I, and I actually found an old hippo stamp. So I decided, oh, this is what I'm going to do now. So I set up my, it's almost like a hippo factory again here. Um, and I tried uh, different uh, color combinations. So, oh, yeah, I'm actually very fond of this one. You're going to see them, I'm going to, but this one with a pink background and the hippo is green. And as you can see here, like I, I use stamping technique where you can actually see here on the body, I had a flower stamp, also handmade, handmade flower stamp. So very, very fun. So I'm gonna turn the camera over here so you can see a bit of the other, other ones that I have. I have still a couple um, halfway done, but I'm gonna make more because I already got requests for them. So I'm thinking of actually, I'm gonna sell them in, the, in my upcoming art classes here because I created a little bit of a Christina art shop. But I'm gonna show you this too. So here's my little sign for that in the art shop that's going to be standing uh, and then I have here um, you've seen them before it's like book, oops, bookmarks um, some with a little bit of some with some caps and uh, I have the, the dog bookmarks also so they're going to be for sale and also these uh, fish cards and the hippo cards. And I have to tell you another thing. <laughs> if you've taken my classes recently, you uh, remember maybe that I had, I was running out of these um, kitchen sponges that I cut into small little pieces that we use when we apply um, the, the paint normally. Sometimes I use paintbrushes, but not always. <laughs> but I was running after them. Actually, uh, whole, the whole of Gambia was run, running out of uh, dish uh, sponges. Could have been a few shops that I, where I didn't find them, but usually when something that I'm on the hunt for runs out in one shop, then you go to the next shop, empty, the next shop, empty, and you think, Oh, no more dish sponges in the whole of the country and eventually they turned up in all the shops again but ah so now lately just a few days ago I raised my gaze and on the top shelf I see big pieces of sponge they are not dish sponges though but but they are sponge material. 
and it's, it's been laying there like all season and that is so perfect because now I don't have to you know I don't have to worry <laughs> ah, I can just cut uh, pieces from this sponge and I don't have to worry about sponge material for a long long time I want to show you from the beginning how I'm making these uh, hippo cards uh, so I'm going to show you at least some of the steps in, in the making of them so you can see and as always sit back and enjoy working on this one but you see before I put the eyelids on he looks he looks kind of I don't know surprised intimidated annoyed <laughs> something but now already he looks way too sleepy so it's a fine line <laughs> not to pu push the uh, eyelids too far down but anyway I'm making different characters so um, this will be the sleepy one <laughs>
this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.